Throughout the book, The Sixth Extinction by Elizabeth Colbert, the reader takes a journey with her and some historians, scientists, and researchers to explore the past, present, and future of our planet. Colbert wants the reader to be thinking about what he or she is doing that is helping or hurting the environment, along with things that happened long ago that us as the reader had no control over. Though the book doesn't go into great detail about the sea turtle, it got me wondering about the life of a sea turtle and how the climate and pollution of the ocean was affecting them. Each type of sea turtle is put into different categories of endangerment, from vulnerable to data insufficient. The leatherback, green, loggerhead, hawksbill, olive ridley, kemp's ridley, and flatback. Each sea turtle is at risk due to the high price put on their shells, eggs, and meat. One million sea animals die from ocean pollution, ingestion, or entanglement every year. Almost all of the trash that gathers in the ocean is from a landfill, which creates an ocean trash zone. Trash zones are areas in the ocean that are the size of Texas and 20 feet in depth. 3.5 million tons of trash has already been gathered and that's expected to double within the next five years. Cigarette butts, cans, plastic bags and bottles, styrofoam, balloons, lighters, and toothbrushes are all found within these areas. This affects the sea turtle because one of the main food groups that is in a sea turtle's diet is the jellyfish. And if a plastic bag is ingested by the sea turtle, there is a chance of choking or not being able to digest the bag, which will lead to death. Along with trash, oil pollution is a huge problem. Sea turtle habitat overlaps with areas most likely to be affected by offshore oil exploration. Though there are many things that affect their life in the water, there are also things that damage with their environment on the land as well. From loss of nesting habitat to hotter sand temperature, the altering of these things can cause huge problems to the population of sea turtles. Severe storms lead to the nests either being buried too deep or too shallow, making it difficult for the young to survive. The hotter sand temperatures are decreasing the hatching rate or causing nest failure. When the eggs hatch, there is a higher amount of female turtles hatching than males. Beachfront construction, tourism, beach renourishment, and seawall construction have been leading to stress and death of sea turtles around the globe. Human activity and tourism are making beaches that were once sea turtle friendly trashed and inaccessible. Leaving trash and debris along the coastline is causing injuries to the female turtles when trying to dig a nest. Turtle feeding zones such as coral reefs and seagrass beds are damaged and destroyed by onshore activities, clearing of land, and nutrient runoff. Fibropapillomas, also known as FP, is threatening the sea turtle population. This is a cauliflower-shaped tumor that is slowing the sea turtle down. Over 50% of the green turtles in Florida's Indian River are affected by FP. Though there is no known cause for the disease, Scientists are thinking that it is linked to the ocean pollution. All the waste that countries use ends up somewhere, and most often than not, it ends up in the ocean. It's important the countries start caring about what they are throwing into garbage cans and recycling bins. San Francisco, California has banned the plastic bag in hopes of making a cleaner ocean, along with other states, whom are starting to cycle out the plastic bag. Plastic ware that humans use every day that isn't recycled or somehow ends up in the water breaks down and the toxic in the plastic gets absorbed into fish, which we catch, which we then eat, which is then absorbed into our body. The less plastic and chemicals that are entering the ocean, the cleaner and more pure our bodies are. Human activity and disease also plays a huge role in what is going on with the turtle population. Without humans, there wouldn't have been 
trash circulating the globe and causing the sea turtles to get a disease that is linked to the ocean being polluted. The life of the sea turtle will be forever affected from pollution, humans, fishing, and FP.